that my first guest is, I maintain, and it's official as well, the greatest Doctor Who of all time. The fabulous David Tennant, there he is. <laughs> you just look more handsome every time I see you. So do you, John. Oh, okay. David is super famous, OK, because uh, Who was a hit all over the world and many other things you've been in, of course, but David's so famous, he even once featured on a stamp. That's right, under David. It's true. And that great lady is a stamp you want to lick on the front, then on the back, then on the front. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the always wonderful, the fabulous Mr David Tennant. <laughs> Thanks very much. Come sit down. Uh, Happy New Year. It's an exciting year. Um, well, it's lovely to see you. It's always lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely to be here. Lovely to be here. Last time I interviewed David, and I, I can't believe it was this long ago, uh, you were still Who. Right, You were just yeah. about to leave Who. Yeah. Um, and you were moving on. You were, and this was uh, four years ago. You decided you were going to move on, and it was uh, a big decision, obviously. Sure. And I wonder whether, uh, first of all, do you keep up with Who? Do you watch it now with Matt Smith in? Did you watch the Christmas special, for example? I, I've still got the Christmas special to watch, in it, but, but I, do, I do watch it, yeah. I keep up with it religiously, of course. Uh, this year is the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. Is it? Mm -hmm. I hadn't noticed. It is. <laughs> and uh, I believe they're planning something special. I believe... I don't know. They haven't... Sp no one... OK, I know you're an honest man, so if I ask you directly... Ha so no one has spoken to you about... No one has spoken... I don't know. What? I know nothing. No one has spoken to you. I know you nothing. You haven't had a phone call saying it's you, the 50th I'll anniversary of I'll tell you how terrified they are. I go in, in makeup tonight. Yeah. I, th this lovely lady came in who I'd never met before and went, Hello, I'm from the BBC. I went, Oh, uh, hello, nice to meet you. And she said, I've been sent to, to, to say that anything about the Doctor Who 50th anniversary must not be mentioned on television. <laughs> That's how scared they are. I don't know anything. I've got nothing to tell you. So they haven't They're sending you... out spies to, to shut me up so and David, telling you things I don't know. They haven't said to you, Are you free? Do you have a gap in your work diary? at any stage this year, for example? I, I have not had a conversation like that with anyone. Has anyone had a conversation on your behalf <laughs> about your diary? Not... Is there someone who keeps your diary who, for the sake of honesty in interviews such as this, would not yet have spoken to you about chunks of time you might have put by to visit Wales this year? <laughs> I don't, know if I'm, I don't know if I'll be going to Wales, I couldn't. So you're going to film it here in London? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know one of the things I always admired about you, and I, I'm just going to share this with you, is I've seen you, I've seen David when he's been in public places and has been approached by Doctor Who fans, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone... A, you get mobbed, it's unbelievable, and B, I've done I've ever seen anyone else, uh, another celebrity, deal with it with such patience and grace. You, uh, you find time for everyone. Um, and does this carry on still? Because presumably there's a lot of kids who see, even if they're watching Matt now, they've seen you on DVD and they still think of you as, as Doctor Who at some stage in his life. I suppose it, you do get used to it. It does carry on, yeah. It just, it just... Because people are enthusiastic about it, it's one of those shows that people love. Does it ever get in the way of filming? Because I guess if you're on location, I know people shout out and they will shout, you know, Doctor, or they will just shout David. Does, does that, I that used calm to, I, down? I, I think, for me, I'm, it, it becomes ubiquitous. It becomes part of what you deal with. And it's, it's not a difficult thing to deal with, because people tend to be very enthusiastic and tend to... I've just been doing a long shoot with Olivia Coleman. You know Olivia Coleman? Of course, wonderful. From, Peep Show and... Yeah, and all these, you know, the, the Iron Lady and all these... She's a fantastic actress. We've just been playing uh, coppers together. OK, is this, this is Broadchurch? This is Broadchurch, yes. Right. Coming on, on this channel, ITV1. Lovely. Very soon. We're coppers and we were filming around... This is Dorset, Bridport and Dorset. And you get used to it and people coming up and it happens quite a lot and you, you, you stop thinking about it. And Olivia was a bit surprised. I don't think she... She's clearly not a fan. She's more of a Matt Smith fan. And she didn't really <laughs> understand why people cared. And uh, after, a while she, after a while, it started annoying her on my behalf. And I'm saying, I'm fine about it. I really don't worry about it. So she, but she would go, oh, come on, you've got you to you have some time off. You've got to go and sit, have a cup of tea. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And everywhere we went, this would happen. Eventually, we were up on the top of this caravan park, not far from there, but it's it very remote. We were filming at about six in the morning. It was completely deserted. And then over the top of this hill comes a little old man with a stick. And he sees us coming and he's watching and, he, and as he approaches, he, he, he realises what's happening, he realises it's filming. And he gets forward and then he starts going, oh, oh, oh! And he starts getting very excited and he's got his little stick in his backpack and he's hobbling towards us. And he says, oh, I can't believe, I've been, oh, this is so exciting! I've been watching you on television all week! And I thought, oh, this, this annoys Olivia, so I'll just, I'll head off at the pass. And I, go, I go up to him and go, oh, that's, that's very nice. So he goes, no, not you! <laughs> Olivia Coleman! <laughs> 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 uh, 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 so, 
<laughs> so it just keeps you, you know, <laughs> keeps you in your place. Yeah, but that's it's, and it's nice that she got some attention as well. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh... and she deserves it. She's okay. very marvellous. Uh, so the next thing we'll see on TV, Ball Church is later in the year, I know that, but yeah. uh, the next thing we'll see you on is Spice of Warsaw. Indeed. OK, uh, this is on BBC Four. Uh, it's coming soon. BBC Four on uh, Wednesday at 9 o'clock, oh, okay. yeah. And uh, this is it's just before the Second World War, is that right? Yeah, it's between the words, the run-up to the Second World War. And I'm uh, uh, the, the French uh, military attaché uh, in, in Warsaw, um, who's also a bit of a covert agent. I, I'm the French between the wars James Bond, if you will. So you're a spy. It's kind of cool to be playing a spy. It is quite cool, yeah. Did you get to study spy techniques? Did you have to do any of that? Kind a little of... bit, yeah. I had to learn to fire a gun. And, wow. Yeah. And is that, is that a fun experience? You enjoyed that? It's quite tense-making. Because somebody had told me, that the, the mark of someone who really knows how to handle a gun is you don't blink as you, as you fire, yeah. which is quite hard to do. Because yeah, yeah. there's a recoil and it's all, there's bits flying. And I'm naturally a bit of a wuss. So having to combat that and try to look like I've handled one before. To it, look cool yeah. when you're doing it. Uh, and I, I urge you to watch. I fire the gun, I don't blink. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we have a clip, before we look at it, uh, so you're wearing period clothes, of course. Some of the yeah. clothes in it, I've seen the first episode, some of the clothes, they're quite flamboyant. They've got you in some quite... Uh, some the, quite... The, the uniforms are quite... The, the French military uniforms are quite, are quite nice. Uh, and then there's the dress uniform for, like, the ball sequences. With the red trousers, is that and the That's one? hard to pull off. Yeah. That's one of the suits you used to wear. I mean, that's really... <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a bright blue... And some clown's trousers and a little... There it is, look at that! You're like the little drummer boy. Yeah, uh, and that hat, <laughs> which you're supposed to be wearing yeah. at all times when you're in that outfit. But I put it on and the entire crew pissed themselves laughing. <laughs> so we had to play the scene with me holding it in my left hand. I love watching that kind of stuff from that period. Uh, the clip we're going to show you, uh, you're not wearing that outfit. As a matter of fact, I think in the clip we're going to show you, you're not wearing any outfits. Seriously? Uh, let's have a look at this. I didn't know they did that kind of thing before the war. <laughs> Apparently, it's been going on a long time. <laughs> so, uh, you're busy all year, then. You're doing... You've got the, the new thing for ITV coming up. Yeah. You've got Spies of Warsaw. You've got the Doctor Who uh, 50th special to film. Well, I didn't say that. But you didn't deny it. Uh, <laughs> and, then, uh, and, and a busy year for you as well, because, of course, I know you have Georgia with you, your wife, is here this evening. Yes. And uh, you've got uh, two lovely children. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or say, but I know it's going to come out eventually. No, You're going to be a, he's going to be a father again. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry Thank to spring it on you. No, no, How exciting. What a great year. Oh, it's lovely. It's very lovely. Very exciting, yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. not going to go on about this, because I know you're very private and a very private family, quite rightly, but I just want to say congratulations. Well, thank you uh, very much. Thank uh, you. I've met everyone in show business, and you're just about the nicest guy I've ever met. Oh, stop it. Okay, stop I'm going to say that to everyone tonight, but... <laughs> <laughs> with you, it happens to be true. Mr David Tennant, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Thank you. thank you, David. The fabulous David Tennant, coming soon to the 50th anniversary of... <laughs>